<clears throat> Dear brothers and sisters, uh, we have heard the gospel of uh, today, and this is about the um, the resurrection, the rising of Jesus from the tomb, and um, the first to. Um, encounter of a recent Lord was uh, Mary uh, Magdalene. Um, well, um, um, some are wondering why it was not the apostles who first saw our Lord. Bakit ba uh, itong babaeng si Maria Magdalena ang uh, unang uh, naka uh, kita ang ating Panginoon nung siya ay nabuhay. Well, uh, in our uh, biblical uh, class before, yung teacher namin sinabi, uh, the reason is because uh, uh, women by nature can spread uh, uh, the news faster than that of a man. So, um, um, I don't know if that is the reason, real reason why, but uh, maybe the real reason was that uh, our Lord was uh, close to our blessed, uh, to uh, Mary Magdalene, because it was he who uh, drive away uh, the uh, demons because uh, she was uh, possessed. So, uh, in other words, she, uh, our Lord uh, saved her from this possession. And not only possessions, but also sicknesses. Now, Mary Magdalene, we know, is um, um, was not really that uh, close to our Lord, but it was uh, this uh, problem she had of uh, possession, and maybe at that time uh, she was a very worldly woman. But when our Lord. Um, understood what uh, her uh, problems were and also that uh, uh, she uh, wanted uh, to be converted by our Lord, which our Lord did and she uh, gave forgiveness to this uh, lady who was uh, worldly and she was even possessed by the demons. Kaya dito makikita natin ang ating Panginoon na hindi niya hinusgahan si Maria Magdalena, kundi uh, pinagbigyan ang uh, uh, babaeng ito and had forgiven her sins or frailties. And because of this, Mary Magdalene, Mary from Magdala, that is the uh, city of Magdala. Um, well, she followed our Lord and was close to Him. Now, with dear brothers and sisters, maybe the lesson that we can learn from this life of uh, Mary Magdalene is that um, we need also conversion always in our spiritual life. We are all sinners. We all, have, we all have our weaknesses. Now, it's only a matter of approaching our Lord, asking forgiveness, and not only that, uh, make reparations for our failings and our sins. You know, <clears throat> When we were young, um, we had the brother who was uh, the youngest, 
and um, we didn't like this uh, brother of ours because he was uh, very naughty and uh, she he um, didn't mind about you know doing his uh, homeworks and his uh, studies um, mahilig makipaglakwat siya in short and still our mother was tolerant was uh, understanding of uh, him and when we criticize our mother she would say um, you be patient and uh, let us give a chance to your brother but still we could not believe that uh, he would be converted or he would change but you know when he uh, went to college somehow that brother of ours um, studied uh, seriously and when he graduated well uh, he graduated with honor then later on he also uh, had a business and that business uh, progressed that big business became successful alam po ninyo anong uh, siya ay naging successful na nga ay uh, kami mga magkakapatid ay pinupuntahan namin siya yung iba ay humihingi ng utang ano ng utang so um, um, when we look back well um, it was maybe through the understanding of our mother it was through her prayers over our youngest brother and look what happened he was converted and he became a uh, religious and a successful man so let us not uh, be uh, so fast in judging we have to uh, try to understand also the weaknesses of other people so uh, remember that uh, you know illustration na do not easily you know point your finger at uh, people whom you think are hopeless whom you think are uh, really cannot uh, uh, cannot um, be good uh, anymore and you remember that if you do that if you point your finger look at my hands how many fingers are pointing at you so tatlong daliri isa doon sa uh, uh, kaaway mo then this one of course goes to God so you see my dear brothers and sisters from this illustration let us slow in judging others and we should rather pray or even correct the failings of this person whether it's a brother or sister or relative or somebody whom you know is uh, going out of uh, the path and we seem that uh, uh, this person will be a failure in life so today in our on the feast of mary magdalene let us pray my dear brothers and sisters to be uh, more uh, understanding more caring and more compassionate uh, even though we do not like to um, to do that with uh, somebody whom we believe will be a failure so what uh, Mary Magdalene would say to us is be patient be uh, um, <clears throat> be caring and at the same time 
let us look into ourselves also. And like Mary Magdalene, we ask forgiveness from our Lord and that we will also um, succeed in following our Lord Jesus Christ after we are converted from our sins and from our imperfections. Amen.